Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to the Apollo CV Awards 2014. Ladies and gentlemen, I hand over the evening now to editor CV magazine, Mr. Sridhar Chari. Over to you. A very good evening to you, all of you. Our panel discussions lined up for the evening center around two themes, innovation and islands of hope. The first discussion of the day is innovation. To kickstart the discussion, I have some really sharp minds with me. They represent different shades of the industry. We've tried to keep it representative. To start with, uh, Mr. Dasri, I had a discussion with you. You seem to differentiate between uh, Jugaad and innovation. Jugaad, as we understand, is what has to be done to get something going. And innovation is more long term. So today, if you look at the CV industry and innovation in that context, do you think it's far more deep rooted than people give it credit for? Innovation to me is not necessarily Jugaad, it's more to do with frugal engineering, how we do it in India using the Indian ingenuity to solve the problems that are typically Indian. Um, whether it is to try and get a mechanical pump to achieve an emission level that has not been achieved before, or to try and design a bus which is typically Indian with a front engine because it's cooling from the front. A typical vehicle for like-to-like -like horsepower or like-to-like -like GVW, not horsepower, uh, would probably cost about one-fourth of what it costs in Europe, in India. That forces us to look at many different ways in which we can provide the right kind of solution to the customer. Mr. Bhualka, when you started out in 2006, uh, it was innovation, right? Look at an AC cabin and a radio. Most people would have said that's not necessary, isn't it? At that stage. But you stuck with it and you have developed a line of products based on that line of thinking. Would you care to comment on what your innovation trajectory has been since then? You know, if you look at the truck industry in India, at least uh, way back in 2006 when we were conceiving the products, um, for the last two decades or something, there was no opportunity to really change the game. But with the quadrangle and the north, south, east, west corridor coming up, we really saw that moving forward, trucks cannot be the way it was. So of course, we were ahead of the game in terms of launching trucks, but the basic philosophy was that can we emulate international standards at local prices? The key issue in addressing the truck market at that point in time, as we saw as the inflection point is, that can we crack the product code in terms of making it affordable because capital cost continues to be the primary driver in India. If Mr. Vinod Dasri and Mr. Bhualka have spoken about uh, products, Mr. Agarwal, I have recently had a chance to go to your uh, factory in Pithampur, the engine factory. I was very impressed with the smart cell concept. 166 parts assembled in two minutes, and that's a great feat. So are we now going to see more and more automation, more and more robotization in the plants? Is that the direction to go forward in manufacturing? No, definitely. Uh, but however, uh, we have to keep one thing in mind, that we are talking of commercial vehicles. It means we are talking of business. So for business, then whatever creates value for the customer, I think that's most important. Because it has to make business sense. So that is why whatever you do, you have to create good value for the customer. So that is the, that is the topmost priority, whatever you do. And uh, then, of course, uh, in the CV industry, of course, uh, we have been innovating. Entire industry had been innovating. From single product, now the customer has various choices. Mr. Mehta, application engineer, that's an interesting perspective also. That's where a lot of the Jugaad comes from in India. I mean, the same truck can carry cattle, it can carry consumer durables. It can go up a slope, it can go on the highway. So that's where you have maybe uh, lift axles and twin speed axles, different body types. As somebody who came to the market, uh, say, about five, six years ago, when you looked at the application engineering landscape and you saw all these different kinds of trucks on the road, what was your takeaway? What did you think was happening and what can we do? See, when it uh, kind of comes to customizing and uh, uh, bringing applications relevant as uh, both the Vinod's mentioned, you know, to the market and to the customer. My first observation was that the transport industry, the customer has been more innovative than many of us. You know, uh, the so-called Jugaad has been always more relevant to the need uh, uh, compared to the innovation sometimes the big engineers like uh, us have done. And I think application was a very, very big example of that. So, uh, I think all of us have been thinking how, how we can service uh, the customer's need uh, uh, 
uh, which are customized to his his application so we at mahindra did take some action to provide uh, ready solutions good time to bring dr albert into the discussion he has a slightly different perspective on that now i think it depends on how you define jugat i mean if you have a two wheeler you put a plank on it and you say you suddenly have a bus right then that's the kind of jugat which is necessary in certain parts of india i'm not discounting that but it's not the kind of scalable frugal innovation that india has become known for and should continue to become known for so i think i'm much more a fan of frugal innovation looking at price points and then finding ways and methods to address those and i think again we'll have and that's the bet that some of the players are taking uh the bet overall is the indian trucking industry with a certain time delay will follow global trends uh that's uh, uh likely to happen the time scale is a question mark let me ask the customer here so you think you have a very small fleet only 1500 trucks i imagine uh to manage such a big fleet in india with all the red tape and all the hassles that one has to go through you must have to innovate every day what i have always felt uh, is that the key to the success of this business is the drivers ultimately whether you are a small fleet owner or a large fleet owner you have to have drivers to run the vehicle and uh, they are the key people who can actually make you or uh, say sort of you know kill you or uh, they can uh, you know you can go bust also if the drivers are not good so from day one when we started this business uh, we had a very different approach to this business and i have never gone and thought about it in the same uh, way in which everybody else is thinking today thank you so much all of you for your time let's start the second panel discussion of the evening today the theme as i mentioned earlier is positivity so sahai tata motors does pretty much the entire range of commercial vehicles if you look from top to bottom point to me two or three good areas that you can still be enthusiastic about at this point in time the point is that we all are going through a very difficult times but as you rightly said uh, in any, every difficult time also there are opportunities so if i start from say uh, uh medium and heavy downwards so within medium and heavy commercial vehicle uh at least for last couple of months we are seeing some positive trends around construction and mining and uh while people can say it's on a low base uh but in the given circumstance everything positive looks good so we have something on movement which we are seeing on tippers which going forward we think uh can can further go up buses is another big opportunity where uh Jnn URM project is something which is promising close to 10000 industry volume and that's going at a decent pace and we expect that by middle of march or towards end of march we will have finalization of those uh, orders let me get to mr neeselwaf uh, as somebody who's come to india uh, recently you've scanned the market you have made major promises you seem to have delivered on some of them uh, looking at what the market has and where you're present right now where are the positives what do you focus on at this point in time don't tell me everything it has to be something specific something specific okay first of all let's say if we, i look at the market from last year and compared with the year before we have sold much more trucks last year than the year before which is a natural thing because we have launched in september 2012 but despite you call it here a huge crisis we have been able to sell a good amount of trucks last year why is it so because we focus on high technology parts and high technology also trucks so the trucks which we produce at the moment i would say they are comparable to trucks which we produce also in europe and some other areas in the world and the customer appreciate this so it means even if you have a crisis and you have the right product you are still in the position to sell and we thought or we learned the same lessons also in some other crises in the world we still we good companies which have the right products can even outperform any other let's say oem because the products gets appreciated by the customers let me get to the buses now mr grunstammer is sitting here he of course does both trucks and buses uh it's been early days as yet but you made a good start you've got a major order your customer sitting here in the hall and uh, your city buses are coming soon as i understand 
is buses as inelastic as uh, non affected by the slowdown as people think or is it still a difficult market to operate in uh, i think um, uh, or at least our analysis is that uh, there is a huge middle class in india 250 million people uh, it will be 450 million people in 10 to 15 years and and what we see is that they they want to have a different uh, uh, quality of, of uh, transportation they want to have safer transportation and they want to have more uh, eco-friendly transportation so we see huge opportunities in the buses both in the intercity coach segment and in in the city segment the alternate fuels are the way to go uh, is that something that the ksrtc also believes in using alternate fuels to drive the agenda for the future karnataka state road transport corporation almost uh, we operate about 23000 uh, buses uh, and out of which uh, about uh, 1500 buses uh, we have been using uh, ethanol uh, blended diesel uh, as well as uh, biofuel for a very long time but the issue is uh, because of this uh, a uh, dual pricing uh, policy of government of india which was introduced on the last january wherein uh, uh, the diesel which we procure in our depots uh, is almost uh, became uh, 12 rupees costlier than what the diesel is available in the retail pumps uh, see for blending this uh, ethanol or uh, biofuel with diesel you should have facilities at your depot I mean, without which it can't be done. You can't take your public transport bus to a roadside uh, retail pump, and there you can't uh, use this uh, fuel. Mr. Sharma, it's been—it's uh, not been so bad for you, isn't it, compared to the uh, what's seen in industry? If you were in the corner room, I am sure I would be hearing a different talk. Hmm. It's a matter of perspective. So we are very much in the same ecosystem, and um, yes, we do have a big aftermarket which continues to remain strong uh, but then a fair amount of our capacities are committed to the OEMs and we you know rise with the tide and sink uh, as well with it so I, I, yeah overall uh, because the commodity softened up the bottom line is not impacted to the extent uh, that the rest of the OEMs probably have suffered so it's a matter of relativity Mr. Seto you've been here uh for not very long in India and I'm sure you've taken in a lot of very interesting lessons about SML Isuzu's performance in India in that period. Last year we introduced a new uh, model of the buses, uh, LCB buses, uh, named S7. So it is uh, now uh, very good, uh, uh, reputation is very good. Uh, we would like to expand the bus range uh, more and more. About the luxury bus segment, so now it is a very tough situation. So, but still uh, we are using you know, is is technology about the luxury buses, uh, using their uh, powertrain technologies. So we would like to expand the bus range. Ramki, let me take a different note from uh, the OEMs and uh, the product portfolio and performance. Do you think we are addressing the rural market as well as we could address it? See that I'm not very sure, uh, at least in the CV market, you can look at a rural versus urban divide to a great extent. Uh, on the small commercial vehicles, yes, I believe there is a rural play that comes into picture. And I think Mr. Sahai very beautifully answered that question in terms of how do we get more vehicles because, as we all know, electricity reaches our rural areas. Uh, people became, will become aware of what choices that they have. Then comes the roads. Then comes the need for transportation. Then comes a need for people to commute for work, pleasure, uh, leisure, et cetera, et cetera. That immediately pre creates the need for transportation. And I believe some of the transportation solutions that we have at this point in time uh, will take care of that requirements. And to a great extent, that is being taken care of today by the small commercial vehicles, passenger, and other public transportation system. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time. To deliver the inaugural address, may I invite on stage CEO Next Gen Publishing Limited, Mr. Hoshang Bilamoria. Yeah.
Uh, much like the CV industry, the media industry has also been through a fair amount of bloodbath. Um, a lot of publications have closed down, as you may be aware, and uh, there has been a general tightening of belts and a marked decline in advertising across the board, whether it's print, TV, or any other media. Coming to the awards, like in previous years, We've had a very eminent jury to decide on the awards. Before I conclude, I would request Mr. Satish Sharma to address us all. Thank you. So good evening, warm welcome as <clears throat> from the principal sponsor of uh, this event. Um, like I said, you know, we've been uh, supporting this event right from the inception. So this is the fifth edition and we have supported every edition of uh, the CV Award event. And I think we look back at it uh, with a, with a uh, great sense of pride that this association has evolved and matured into a very uh, significant event in the CV industry. And, and, and we're really very happy uh, the way it's progressing. Uh, so thank you all for being present tonight and making this event uh, uh, even more uh, uh, eventful, if I can say that. The LCV Cargo Carrier of the Year Award. And the nominees in this category are... The nominations for the category LCV Cargo Carrier of the Year are... Isuzu D-Max Pickup Tata Xenon Pickup Let me invite on stage Mr. Dilip Chabria, founder DC Design. The LCV Cargo Carrier of the Year, Tata Zenon Pickup. Our next category for this evening is the ICV Cargo Carrier of the Year. And the nominations in this category are... The nominations for the category ICV Cargo Carrier of the Year are... Ashok Leyland Boss 913 LX Bharat Benz 914 Tata Ultra 912 May I request Mr. Srinivas Dharmadhikari, Director, Metric Consultancy UK, to join us on stage and declare the winner amongst these worthy products. The ICV Cargo Carrier of the Year, Ashok Leland Boss 913 LX. Moving on, our third category for the Apollo CV Awards 2014 is the Emerging Truck Fleet Operator of the Year. And the nominations for this category are... The nominations for the category Emerging Truck Fleet Operator of the Year are... Unity Logistics Hundekari Goods and Transport Service Adhunik Transport Organization Limited. Let me now call on stage Dr. Pavan Goenka, Executive Director and President, Automotive and Farm Equipment Sectors, Mahindra and Mahindra. The Emerging Truck Fleet Operator of the Year is Unity Logistics. Moving on, the Fleet Operator of the Year Niche Applications. Let's take a look at the nominations. The nominations for the category Fleet Operator of the Year Niche Applications are Unity Logistics 
Chartered Speed Private Limited, Coastal Roadways Limited. I would like to invite Dr. V. Sumantran, Vice Chairman Ashok Leyland, to tell you which of these fleet operators is the king of the game. The winner of Fleet Operator of the Year niche applications is Coastal Roadways Private Limited. Next category is the HCV cargo carrier of the year up to 25 ton GVW and the nominees for this category are the nominations for the category HCV cargo carrier of the year up to 25 ton GVW are Bharat Benz 2528 Mahindra Toro 25 Tata Prima LX 2523. Why don't I invite Dr. Wilfred Olbor, Managing Partner and CEO, Roland Berger Strategy Consultants, India, to do the honors. The HCV cargo carrier of the year up to 25 ton GVW is the Mahindra Toro 25. Congratulations, Mahindra Trucks and Buses. We have the HCV Cargo Carrier of the Year, more than 25 ton GVW. And the nominations in this category. Let's take a look. The nominations for the category HCV Cargo Carrier of the Year, more than 25 ton GVW are Bharat Benz 3128, Ashok Leyland 3120, iShare Pro 6031, Tata Prima LX 3123. Who better than VG Ramakrishnan? MD, Frost and Sullivan, South Asia and jury member of the Apollo CV Awards to tell us about the winner in this exciting category. The winners are Bharat Benz and Tata. Our seventh segment in category in this series of awards is the Large Truck Fleet Operator of the Year. And the nominations for this category are here. The nominations for the category Large Truck Fleet Operator of the Year are Ideal Movers Private Limited, Access Carriers and Logistics Limited, Vayudut Road Carriers Private Limited, I wish to call upon Mr. Vinod Agarwal, CEO, VE Commercial Vehicles, to announce the winner in this prestigious category. Winner for Large Truck Fleet Operator of the Year Award is Ideal Movers Private Limited. We have the SCV People Mover of the Year. Let's see the nominations. The nominations for the category SCV People Mover of the Year are Ashok Leyland Style, Mahindra Maximo Minivan. Let me invite Mr. Satyabrat Das, Vice President OEM Business Operations, Gulf Oil. The winner is Ashok Leyland Style. Congratulations Ashok Leyland, it is again. Please do join us gentlemen on the stage. Now we have the LCV People Mover of the Year. Let's take a look at the nominations. 
The nominations for the category LCV People Mover of the Year are Mahendra Tourister Cosmo School Bus Swaraj S7 School Bus The winner is Swaraj S7 School Bus Our next segment is the private sector bus fleet operator of the year. Let's take a look at the nominations. The nominations for the category private sector bus fleet operator of the year are Chartered Speed Private Limited, City Services, Travel Time Car Rental Private Limited. Mr. Vinod Sahai, Head Sales and Marketing, MHCV's Tata Motors. Please join us on stage to announce the name. The winner is Chartered Speed Private Limited. Now we have the ICV People Mover of the Year Award and the nominations are the nominations for the category ICV People Mover of the Year are Ashok Leyland Jan Bus, Midi Tata Ultra School Bus Aisha Skyline Pro Let me call on stage Mrs. Sandeep Mathur Head Institutional Sales Apollo Tires to announce the winner And the winner is Aisha Skyline Pro. Moving on, we have the MHCV People Mover of the Year. And in this category, the nominations are... The nominations for the category MHCV. People Mover of the Year are Scania Metrolink HD SML Isuzu FR1318 Let us figure out which bus made the cut by inviting on stage Mr. N.K. Ratan, COO and President, Corporate Sales and Marketing, Force Motors. MHCV People Mover of the Year belongs to Scania Metrolink SD. It's time for the Public Sector Bus Fleet Operator of the Year. The nominees in this category are the nominations for the category Public Sector Bus Fleet Operator of the Year are Karnataka State Road Transport Corporation Bangalore Metropolitan Transport Corporation May we have Ms. Minnie Harrison, Senior Vice President, Z Media Corporation Limited on stage to announce the master of this game. Public Sector Bus Fleet Operator of the Year, Karnataka State Road Transportation Company. The CV Innovation of the Year and the nominees here are... The nominations for the category CV Innovation of the Year are... Ashok Leyland Boss 913 LX Bharat Benz 1217 iShare Pro 6031 Mr. Salil Gupta, Director India Commercial Operations, Allison Transmission and Mr. Rakesh Khaldra, MD, Beki Photon India Please come on stage to end the suspense Well, this award goes to Bharat Benz 1217 
Now we have the CV variant of the year and the nominations in this category are The nominations for the category CV variant of the year are Scania G410 Tata Prima 3138K Ashok Leyland Toast CNG And the CV variant of the year is Tata Prima 3138K Moving on, the 16th segment is the best practice adopter of the year amongst fleet operators and the nominations are The nominations for the category best practice adopter of the year fleet operators are Vayudut Road Carriers Private Limited Kailash Carriers Limited Coastal Roadways Limited To reveal the best among such lateral thinkers, we invite Mr. Vinod Dasari, MD, Ashok Leyland, on stage. Good evening. The best practice adopter of the year Fleet Operators Award goes to Kailash Carriers. Category number 17, Truck Application Builder of the Year and the nominations in this category. The nominations for the category Truck Application Builder of the Year are Schwing Stetter India Private Limited, Greaves Cotton Limited, Mitra Q Koto SPV Company Limited. declare the winner in this category let me invite on stage mr. Anirudh Bhuvalka MD and CEO AMW the award goes to Schwick Stata India private limited now we have the bus application builder of the year the nominations for this category are The nominations for the category Bus Application Builder of the Year are Prakash Bodybuilders Guru Ramdas Bodybuilders To reveal the winner in this category let me invite Mr. Anders Grundstromer Senior VP Scania Group and CEO Scania Commercial Vehicles India. The winner is uh, Guru Ramdas Bodybuilders. Congratulations, Guru Ramdas Bodybuilders. Moving on, we have the CV Dealer of the Year and the nominations for this category are The nominations for the category CV Dealer of the Year are Bafna Automotive Pune Talwar Auto Garages Private Limited Kun Commercial Vehicles Private Limited To determine the winner in this category, I'd like to call on stage Mr. Mark Litsoseya, CEO and MD, Daimler India Commercial Vehicles. Talva Auto Garages. The CV Auto Component of the Year, the nominations are The nominations for the category CV Auto Component of the Year are Continental Sparticle Filter Differential Sensor Meritor HVC India Limited MS10X Axel Wheels India Forged Aluminium Tube Type Wheel
Let me call on stage Mr. Nalin Mehta, MD and CEO, Mahindra Trucks and Buses to do the honors. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is uh, Wheels India. Our 21st category this evening is the CV Auto Component Maker of the Year. And the nominees for this category are... The nominations for the CV Auto Component Maker of the Year are... Rani Madras Limited, GS Auto International Limited, Punjab Bevel Gears Limited. May we have on stage Mr. H.E. Seto, MD and CEO, SML Isuzu. CB Auto Component Maker of the Year, winner is Lane Madras. We're moving on to the Fleet Enabler of the Year and the nominations for this category are... The nominations for the category Fleet Enabler of the Year are... ATS Elgi, Manatech Electronics Private Limited, Valvoline Cummins Limited. To reveal the category, the winner in this category, let me invite Mrs. Anita Deshmukh from Matrix Global. Volvo Line Commons Limited. Brace yourself, the four big awards are coming up. Coming up first, we have two special Editor's Choice Awards. Let me invite the man who made this call. You know him? Sridhar Chari, Editor, CV Magazine. <laughs> recognition of the tipper that tipped the scales with its many pioneering features the first award in this editor's choice award having registered sales of 25,000 units since its launch in 2007 it is really more than the sum of its parts please applaud generously for the AMW 2518 TP Congratulations, AMW. Sridhar, you are staying back with us. Okay, now for the second one in this Editor's Choice Awards. This is an award for a first in category technology. After having introduced the intelligent fuel saving stop start technology, Mahindra and Mahindra has come up with the innovative fuel smart technology in the Mahindra Maximo minivan. Maybe call on stage someone from Mahindra and Mahindra to accept a token of our appreciation for this breakthrough technology. May I request the CEO Next Gen Publishing Limited, Mr. Hoshang Bilamoria, to join us, please. Our Man of the Year's performance closely mirrors his companies. The chartered and cost accountant has grown into his role through the course of his three decade stint with his company. Please put your hands together for this underrated model of efficiency, Mr. Vinod Agarwal, CEO, VE Commercial Vehicles.
two more to go. The next big one, the CV Maker of the Year. The nominations for this award are... The nominations for the category CV Maker of the Year are... Daimler India Commercial Vehicles Private Limited VE Commercial Vehicles Limited Scania Commercial Vehicles India Private Limited Ashok Leyland Limited Tata Motors Limited May we call on stage Mr. Satish Sharma, President, APMENA Apollo Tires to do the honors, please. And the CV maker of the year is Daimler India Commercial Vehicles. DICV it is. Let us give a thunderous round of applause. Okay, now for the last award of the day. The CV of the year. The nominations. The nominations for the category CV of the year are I'd like to call on stage Mr. Hoshang Bilamoria, CEO, Next Gen Publishing Limited. It's with extreme pleasure that I announce that the CV of the year is Ashok Leyland, Boss 913LX. Congratulations, CV of the year. Gentlemen, thank you, Mr. Sharma. Thank you, Mr. Billamoria. Thank you, gentlemen from Mazars. It's certainly a great honor to be uh, nominated in the category and certainly a greater honor to have won in this category against uh, very formidable competitors. First of all, uh, it's third year in a row. Uh, after having got CV of the year, CV man of the year uh, award for a 40 ton, uh, uh, it's very happy, we are very happy to receive this uh, once again, uh, this prestigious award. The feeling is great that uh, we got some recognition. Uh, we have been in the bus business for a quite long time, right from 1986, and uh, we have been giving the buses, particularly for school children, which are more safe and uh, comfortable to them. Now, this is highly motivating, highly motivating for the entire team, and uh, we are very pleased to receive this award. If you feel very nice, this is the second product from Ashok Lian Nissan Joint Venture. Last year, CV uh, Polo gave us the award for the Dost, which was the cargo LCV of the year. This year, the second time, second product, we get the award. It makes us very happy and proud. So this is a very happy occasion, uh, and uh, I dedicate this award to 38,000 strong workforce of uh, drivers, conductors, uh, and mechanics uh, in KSRTC. Oh, well, first of all, it's always very good to get an award, that's for sure. Um, I remember that pretty much one year ago, we stood here and we already received one of the first award only four or five months after we had launched the first truck and certainly um, now 16 months have passed since we entered this market and uh, I think uh, this award even has more value because I think more time has passed more customers are to appreciate our um, products. Well clearly speaking this is a great product for us because uh, you know when we launched the AMW truck it was clearly ahead of its time in a market which is known for price and known for capital cost features like air conditioning, bogey suspension, 9-speed gear gearbox and basically international truck at domestic prices was unheard of. So we really bet on a future and I'm proud to say that after 40,000 trucks, the trucks have really dented, made a dent in the market and this, rec this recognition basically enhances 
what we have been believing so far that the truck market in India will change and value selling will be the order, order of the day and capital cost is not the only driver for the market.